Could you get that asshole out of my apartment? It's cleaner than when you left it. My dog? Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. Is that everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid. Those inset photos look pretty real. Let me guess. Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother. Said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You could satisfy your blackmailer and keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade? I got it all right here. Photos, files, discs, the works. It ain't a pretty sight. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? Farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? It finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. Twenty years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was up. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. I don't know. A lot has changed. I don't know what I want anymore. That's fine, kid. Just walk away. I knew you didn't have the cojones. Hey, I got you where I want you, don't I? Kid, I'm what they call a survivor. I've crawled through the sickest sludge of hell and lived to tell the tale. I'll be around long after they've forgotten that you were ever on the job. Wouldn't bet on it. But I'm tired, kid. I'm ready to turn over a new leaf. I swear to you, everything will be different if we just stick together and mop this thing up. Come on, what do you say? I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Looks that way, man. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. You gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. <laughs> and if I told you that Sadiq has a pulse rifle trained right at your heart? Without me, you for sure ain't going nowhere. Lieutenant, we have everything we need. And that doesn't include you. Too bad we're becoming such good friends. Whatever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free, then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! So, what shall we do with this detective?
You're making me very unhappy, old friend. Hey, McCoy. You could say that. Steele is looking for you. And Brian. You've been keeping the whole department hopping. You and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking. Not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. But we don't live forever, <coughs> do we? Well, you should have voted for him then. <laughs> Very good. Very funny, yes. Governor, let's get down to business. At last estimate, five billion tons of kipples surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished. My way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes. But laws can be changed. And if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvig, the national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! <laughs> you are certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, the mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time for talk. I wish I could help you. I really do. But the data is useless. The four-year lifespan is unalterable. My friends, my family, dying before my very eyes. And all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son. And you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe. Walking along the darkened valley with silent melancholy. I would prefer him alive if possible. Not exactly the conclusion I had in mind. Have you stationed guards in the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but, I mean, after the fall... Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. 